Can I begin today by respectfully acknowledging the traditional owners of the lands on which we meet, the Turrbal and Yagara peoples, and pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging. Can I also acknowledge President Flo Kingham, James Patil, the Queensland Mine Rehabilitation Commissioner, and the MC for the conference, Chris DeMarco, the Senior Registrar of the Land Court. Thank you so much for inviting me to take part in your annual conference today and really to celebrate the launch of the Land Court Reconciliation Action Plan. Forums like today provides a valuable opportunity to share information, particularly in relation to mining and cultural heritage matters. These discussions have been key to helping the court develop and implement lasting reforms. It also strengthens stakeholder relationships and in turn, the court's efficiency. So it's great to know that representatives from many referring agencies across government are attending the conference today. The Land Court is the second oldest court in Queensland and as a jurisdiction it considers issues that affect the land and cultural heritage of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples and the rights of First Nations peoples to maintain their relationship with the land, waters and coastal seas with which they have a traditional connection and the right to conserve and protect those places and resources are particularly relevant to the Land Court's work. So it's great to see the court launch its Reconciliation Action Plan today, following the lead of the Queensland Magistrates Court, which recently launched its second action plan. The plan will help the court work towards achieving its vision for reconciliation. Integrating culture into court practices and developing cultural capability for staff and judicial members. During the development of the plan, the court worked closely with the Indigenous Lawyers Association of Queensland as well as Reconciliation Australia. And the court's recent decision in March this year to take evidence from First Nations witnesses on country for the first time shows its improved appreciation for cultural perspectives. Reconciliation needs all of us to play our role and commit to strengthening our relationships with First Nations peoples. Government agencies, private industry and our justice system have an important leadership role to play in that process. I commend the Land Court and the Magistrates Court leadership in developing their respective reconciliation action plans and for their commitment to gaining a greater understanding of First Nations culture and history, awareness of cultural perspectives and enhancing collaboration with First Nations communities. It's wonderful to be part of today's launch and I wish the court the very best on its reconciliation journey. Enjoy the conference.